guys, welcome back to Kumasau. We're taking a look at the latest from Big Firebird Toy. So this is a retool and redeco of their EX-01 Nicey figure, which was kind of a loose homage to RC. They um, went ahead and made it into their own figure, and this is Mocha. So as you can see, black deco, different tampos, things like that. We're going to look at this thing up and down. One thing I will note at the, is that this was bought directly from Big Firebird Toy, so it does come with a couple of exclusive pieces to it that you won't get at any other retailer besides them. So take note in case you're watching this well after it releases everywhere and this and that, and you feel like you're missing some parts, you're probably not. So, all right, looking at the accessories though. Make sure we're focused here. All right. So, comes with a closed umbrella, doesn't open any, no gimmicks to it or anything like that. This is an adapter piece for a part on her back. It came with Nicey that turned it into like a bow, but she doesn't come with an arrow as well, so I'm not really going to utilize that. Her spoiler, um, this is a part two, her canopy. It also becomes a weapon as well. Bunny ears, as well as the head that they go into. The bunny ears, as well as these exclusive cat ears, do go into either head. The slots are the same. This is a pair of, well, it's a different chest piece for it. And rather than a hard plastic, this is soft. Visor. This is a piece for the shield, another piece for the shield, the shield itself, as you can see, the canopy. And one thing about this, it's pretty cool, it does have an open and close gimmick. Take a look at that in the alt mode. Two swords, this is a belt, as well as kind of like a bow bonnet on her back, and it clips in really neat, and a variety of hands. All right, another thing that's exclusive is the card over here, so, Nice silver card, numbered on the other side. Each is unique. It does come with uh, water slides as well. I'm not gonna utilize those, just not my thing. Gonna keep these clean. But again, see I have two. This is back on the stand. Boom, we'll get some nice comparisons in there too in each mode. But once again, just an overview. Cat ears and card are gonna be the exclusive pieces to the Big Firebird Direct Store. Okay, and we've got uh, EX-01 Nicey next to it. So, just a quick comparison in bot mode. Aesthetically, all this back kibble and stuff like that, so... It does come off, by nature, on Mocha. But, we got tricks. So, with Mocha, what you do to get all of this stuff off, You can take off this by itself, and then there are options that you can do, you know, with this, uh, put that up, put that up, whatever you want to do, right? Make sure it's still in frame. But what you do, if you want to take all this off, is you loosen that up, just like for the transformation. This top part pops off. Make sure that I'm doing it from the right angle. Boom. Okay, and then this hinge here, it pops off as well. So, boom. Okay, and from there, what you do? Oh. Slide that back in. Then on the back, pop that part down, and you're golden. Make sure it's all the way slid in on both sides. Okay. Now somebody suggested just modding Nicey or whatever so that she could do the same thing. Uh, he didn't post instructions on anything. I think it was one of those things where he didn't do it himself but was theory posting or whatever. But I said, screw it, why not? In my head I saw it as doable, so yeah, and it turned out it is. So with Nicey, same difference. So that hinge, just pop that off. Boom. And I had to make modifications to like the hinges and stuff like that so they actually come off. All right. And then for this part, pops off as well. Get that out of the way. 
And same difference, just slide it on in. Boom, boom. All right, and there you go. Back's more hollow, but same difference. Push that in. And yeah, to me, it's a better look. Um, and I know you guys are probably gonna ask like how I did it, this and the other. And sorry, just getting their heels to fit and stuff like that. Okay, boom. Get these to balance, please. Thank you. All right. So two good-looking bots there. Certainly balance a lot better. Okay. See the back sides of both. So this one, a bit more filled in versus this one. Oh, jeez. Versus this one. So more hollowness in the back. Um, but this was made for that to come off. This wasn't, so been in plan on that uh, being shown at all. Okay. And again, these don't balance for crap on here. In fact, that's just such a bad look. So with the turnstile, it's not flat. I think at this point I need to replace it with one that is. Because some figures without completely flat feet just do not do well on them. But there you go. Get that out of the way. One more look at the two of them uh, side by side. Okay, and now we got both of them in vehicle mode side by side. An open seating area versus a cockpit. And this one, there's no area to really like slide a spudger in or anything like that. So I have not mastered how to get that open without, there we go. But even right there, boom, squeeze a little bit. But then it doesn't want to stay up. There we go. Mm -hmm. There's that. So that option is pretty cool. Um, you could even swing it back and put it like that if you want to. It's pretty neat. Both vehicle modes definitely have their merits. To me, this mode, there's no clear winner. Where I like Mocha better in robot mode, this one, it's pretty one on one For me, at least. Alright, now that we got the comparisons knocked out. Comparisons nicely, that is. Go ahead and concentrate on Mocha herself. I've already got the cat in there. Cat ears, cat, blah, 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 cat ears in already. I'll show you how those go on in a second. Height with the cat ears, well, yeah, with the cat ears about seven and a quarter. Without them, just over seven inches. Well, a little closer to seven inches on the dot, actually. So seven inches, seven and a quarter, tip of the cat ears. That's what it looked like from that perspective. On the rim review, it might be a little bit different when I can actually just line it up, eyeball it, etc. So, okay, round about here, showed you how it looked with all the back cable on, and I really hate how this thing balances on my turnstile. And there we go. Now, as for the cat ears, again, Big Fire Bird exclusive on their Taobao store. Brand this up. But they're pretty simple. And unfortunately, my hands, they're so, so small pieces that my hands may cover it up. But there's two slits on the top of the head. You can see them there. And the cat ears have pegs that just slide right in. So again, smaller pieces, smaller pegs, and they peg in at an angle, which is extra weird. Well, not necessarily weird, but it's different. So I'm used to just straight pegs, but they're kind of like diamond shape. But there you go. 
Another face accessory that she has is the shades. So I'll show you guys how to put those on as well. Pretty straightforward. This comes off in the front. This front hair piece here. All right. The shades. Put them on, okay. Make sure you got that in focus. And then you just, well, I'm doing a bang up job of making really simple stuff look complicated. Now the lineup on these, maybe it wasn't as simple as I alluded to, because the lineup is weird on them. They don't go directly over our eyes. There's a little bit of a gap. Make sure we're focused there so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. But once you line it up for the first time, you'll see it. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave these on for the rest of the review. Not gonna do transformation for this one. Honestly, it is a one to two minute transformation. It's super simple, but I wanna make sure that this is focused on um, just the accessories and stuff like that because the instructions aren't good. Even when it, whether it's the transformation aspects of that or just the accessories because they come separated and then the instructions just have these fully put together pieces and things and you're supposed to kind of just know where different parts came from and this and that, but yeah, it's not what they make it out to be. And I'll point out those differences uh, while we're going over them. But right now, go ahead and go over the articulation. So the ball joint is actually where the neck meets the clavicle. It's all one piece. So 360. All right. Pop this back on, make sure it's snug. There we go. Got to click in, up, down, sideways. Okay. Shoulders, no butterfly. There is some up and down movement. Shoulder pads on this one don't really have much movement. 360, parallel. Okay. Bicep swivel. Okay, 360 there. Single jointed elbow, but it goes past that 45 degrees, so that's cool. Wrist, go in via ball joint, so all way rock, as well as 360 swivel. So that's really cool. Okay. Now we'll take a look at the waist. Um, for that, go ahead and move the arms out some. All right, so side to side on the top, there's no movement in the waist itself. It's all in this top part. So back bend, okay. Ab crunch, not a lot, not a lot. It's more for just standing poses than anything like Iron Man landing pose, like that kind of stuff. Does have drop hips. And the hips are actually on a rocker, so you can make her kind of, for like sassy poses and things like that, put more weight like on one side than the other, and actually like kind of tilt, like so. It's neat. And I don't know why that keeps coming off. But, because it normally doesn't at all. Make sure I have that pegged in. Nice and tight, no gaps or anything like that. Okay. I heard a snap there. Huh? So outward, forward, backwards, double jointed knee. Okay. Good tight die cast joints too. So if you weren't aware, this is a die cast figure. Die cast is in the frame, nothing on the outside. All right, ankle tilt, ankle rock, and then the heel moves in and out more for the transformation than anything else, okay? So that's the articulation. Now we're gonna go ahead and go over the accessories. All right, I'm gonna start at the top of the figure. The cat ears are exclusive, but all of them come with uh, bunny ears that she can put on. So go ahead and take a look at those. Just pop out the cat ears. 
the bunny ears and insert the exact same way. Just looking at the feet, making sure she's balanced. So this is not the most fun. All right. So it's blatant which sides of the bunny ears are the front and back. The back kind of have some indentations and things like that that you wouldn't want to show. So, of course, you're going to use the other side as the front. Okay, so there's that. In fact, I'm actually going to lower this a little bit. I'm going to put it on the normal surface. Okay. There's one ear. There's two ear. And they do have some movement there. Double hinge right there, so. However you want to do them. She also has a whole other head that you can put in. And it's all silver, faced with bangs. The way you do it, well, you could do it like that. But this piece is supposed to stay connected a lot better and pop out at the neck. So, but if we're gonna do it like that, you just take the alternate head and pop it on. Why not? Okay. There's that. Go ahead and put the bunny ears in this one. Now on mine, the holes for the ears are more loose than on the regular head. Not the biggest fan of that. But there's that. Not the biggest fan of this head in general. Okay. Now, she also comes with an alternate chest. Uh, showed you guys earlier when we were going over the accessories. Soft chest. Oh. Taking all that out. Pop that out. New chest in. Okay. He's back. Head. Get these ears on. Good. And that right there comes from the holes being more loose. I don't understand why. I wish it was different, but. Okay, so there's that. And she also has what looks like a bunny tail with the bonnet on the back. And the two ribbons move back and forth. But the way that goes on, it like clips around the waist. So. The way that I've had the most success is pretty much clipping on one side and then bringing the other side down. So one side's clipped on there. Oh. Actually, I'm gonna drop the hips here. See if that helps. This is my first time trying that. But again, the instructions make it like they should just slide on, and that's not the case. They really don't. Okay. There's that. Okay. Here's how that looks from the backside. 
Okay, so this is one that you're going to see in the instructions. And in the instructions, it's going to look like this. But what you get in the box is this piece of the cockpit, this spoiler piece. Put these two together. And then you have these two pieces, which actually hang down from her back kibble here. All right? So to get them to look like that, make sure that I'm doing this right. This has been a little bit. Okay. So, you got to take their pegs in here, and you actually take them, peg it in. Other side, do the same thing, peg it in. If I can get it to stay, boom. Then other side. And this is how they should be facing. All right, this is bottom of that cockpit piece. And then these two face inside. It's too dark to show you the pegs and where they go, but it's blatant once you have it. But then you have this guy. All right, now it looks like that thing in the instructions, right? So from there, what you do, there's a ball joint on there. For whatever reason, it points to like the side of the piece to peg it in, but there's a ball right there. And then boom. And it's kind of a loose fit, but... It works. Okay, and there we go. Put a little bit more at focus there. And there's that weapon. You guys can see it from the side as well. And that's okay, it's different. Okay, and to pretty much finish off her accessories, we'll take a look at the shield. So you've got the shield right here. Boom, boom, make sure it's in focus there. And then, there's a piece with the handle and peg. All right. I'm just gonna leave her down. And then you got two swords that slide in. It's blatant where they slide into, so no worries about that. They are pointy though. They're a little bit bendy, but the ends of them are super sharp. So watch out for that, okay? There's that, there's that. Not really gonna have her hold the swords because I'll, I'm gonna have her hold the umbrella instead for this pose, okay? So it pegs into two pace, places. It pegs into her legs, either leg, and you do it at an angle. It's not, the, it's not a very tight peg at all, and I don't like that. And it's like that on both legs. Yeah. Not a fan of that one bit. Because it's a cool option, but it's got to work. All right, but there it is on the leg. I didn't realize I was so zoomed out. Fix that, boom. Or you can go ahead and put it onto the arm, and that pegs much better. Not only pegs, but it has a handle too. So, pegs into the. Whew. Okay, and here's the vehicle mode. We already did a comparison of the vehicle mode with Nicey, but really cool stuff. Really sleek. I dig it. In transformation video, I'll whip one up, um, explain some tricky points of the transformation. One thing I will say, just in case you don't watch the transformation video, it's not shown in the instructions, but the ends of the spoilers, these fins here, they don't come attached, and it just expects you to know what the fuck they are, because they just, in the instructions it says, pop them on. I was looking 
around, thinking that I lost these ploy pieces. They're actually the bunny ears folded up. And it took me going through probably 10 videos of this figure or whatever until somebody finally did it on camera. So these ends, bunny ears, just remember that. Remember that. So, okay. And again, the gimmick is the cockpit opening. Squeeze a little bit on these pink pieces here. And get a fingernail or a spudger under there. Come on. And boom. Nice interior, too. I mean, it's decent. One thing I w do wish about these uh, spoilers, they're not too bad. Once you have it, um and set it in place, they're fine. They stay on pretty well. Obviously handling it uh, a little bit different, especially like I'm doing now, reviewing hands all over the place and stuff like that. Don't worry about them popping off um, when you've got it on display or anything like that, but be careful because they can pop off. I wish they were a traditional peg or something like that, something to kind of lock them in place, but friction, they do hold. They do hold well. All right, not going to knock it too much. But all right. What's that? Everything's nice and tight. Four rolling wheels. Good ground clearance. It's pretty darn cool. And once again, this has been a review for Big Firebirds EX01 Plus Mocha. This is the Big Firebird Toy Taobao Exclusive Edition. Comes with the cat ears as well as the card. Overall, good, solid figure. It, I wouldn't say it's like Rebel Tech levels or anything like that, but it takes some playing around with this stuff like that just to kind of learn her joint styles and what goes where and how to finagle this to get this, like that kind of thing. But once you learn it, which I think takes maybe 20 minutes of just toying around with it and stuff like that, it's pretty awesome. Chock full of accessories. And honestly, like the upgrades, like the removable kibble and stuff like that from Nicey, which you can do to your Nicey as you saw in this review as well, it's really cool stuff, man. So I like that this company is moving away from Transformers. This is now officially um, a completely original figure. No RC nods or anything like that. It's really, really cool. And I look forward to seeing what this company has next in this line. So from what I've read, they had a Windblade plan. But since they decided, hey, we're not doing Transformers and stuff like that, we're our own man. Um, they actually changed it to... I don't really know, it's like a Samurai Princess kind of deal or whatever, but it looks really freaking neat. Join the Big Firebird uh, fan group on Facebook, I'll link that group in my description. Really cool stuff, we actually did a group order and that's how I was able to get these uh, exclusive versions of Mocha. Um, had somebody overseas middleman for us and stuff like that we all pulled together so shipping was relatively cheap and honestly we got them for like u.s retail or whatever where normally if you get one of these by yourself it probably costs hundreds of dollars or something like that so really cool stuff man and thank you to everybody in that group for the support and stuff like that and helping us all get them because i ordered like 20 of them that were divvying out and stuff like that so very cool like share subscribe let me know what you think of this piece uh in the comment section below Stay tuned for the written review and gallery on kumastyle.com. Order yours, TF Source, for the U.S. version. I'm not helping anybody get any more of these or whatever because I didn't even buy these myself. I had a middle land or whatever. So, anyway, let me know what you think. Again, like, share, subscribe. Stay safe. See you next time.